This is My.NA Cars, the show where we bring you everything you need to know happening in the motoring industry, be it the latest cars, the latest news, or whatever it is. As long as it's in the motoring industry, we have you covered. Now, you're probably wondering why I have this sash on. Yes, it is my birthday, and it just so happens that we're taking out the Nissan Magnite for a test drive and I couldn't be more excited. It is a compact crossover SUV that is perfect for all your in-town errands and we will be getting into the nitty gritties of the car. We have a very special guest that's going to show us everything that we need to know. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. First, let's get into our motoring news. In motoring news today, Hilux continues to dominate top five buckies in September. Toyota's Hilux has retained the top spot for best-selling buckies in Muzanzi for September. The Hilux has yet to be usurped in the monthly bucky sales race, a performance akin to Red Bull in this year's F1 season. In August, Toyota reported selling 3,309 Hilux and exporting 6,863 units. A month later, the Hilux total sales figures dropped, with the total number of Hilux exported decreasing by more than 1,000 units. Now we'll take a quick ad break and return with more My.NA Cars. Stay tuned. Now, I did mention that we are talking all about the Nissan Magnite and of course, I would need all of the nitty gritties and Mr. Manfred here is happy to take me through the car and all its amazing features. How are you doing today? Very, very welcome. Thank you. And you are very, very welcome to our humbly Nissan dealership. Ah, I am glad to be here. I mean, it is my birthday, so it only makes sense that we get to test drive a nice car. <laughs> we are going to do that today. We are Happy definitely. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so of course, let's start with the exterior. So I noticed right off the bat that this looks closely similar to the Renault um, Kia, Kiga. Uh, Kiga, yes. Kiga, yeah. Yes. Uh, I noticed it's actually a common practice nowadays in the automotive industry where they basically have the same car and they, they just change up the badges. Yeah. Why now, is that? No, you are very right because uh, the, the, the standard of the world requires almost everything to look the same mm -hmm. so that uh, if there's any parts or any thing that you need and you are in a different part of the world, mm. then you don't need to suffer or you don't need to go around uh, and, and, and you cannot find it. Mm, it, it is actually just standardized uh, across the, the board or across the world so that it, it, it is easier for you to find mm. any part of any car. That you need. But then you were, you were very right when mm. you said that it actually looks exactly or similar to the Renault, Ki Ki uh, Renault Kiga mm -hmm. because it, it is the competition. I so see. it is this being compared to mostly the Renault Kika, the uh, Toyota Urban Cruiser, and the um, uh, Volkswagen Up. Oh, yeah. so it's in line it's with in those, line with those cars. ones. All yes. right, okay. That's, that's the, the competition. That's of this the competition. One here. Okay, yeah. so of course, right off the bat, we have to talk about the front. I love the grills. One of the first things that I noticed. So just walk us through the design of the car from the um, headlamps to the grill, everything. <laughs> So we, we are going to look at this one. This is the uh, Nissan Magnite. This is the high, high, high spec one. Mm -hmm. So this one is the one that has almost everything. Okay. So as you can see that it is fully LEDs. It has the L shape, mm -hmm. daylight running lights. Mm -hmm. And you also get the, your uh, fork life that is also in the LED. Oh, your headlamps nice. are also in the LEDs. But then if you look up on our lovely big grill mm -hmm. that we have, as you can see, this is the way we are going. Yes. Look at all the Nissans. Mm -hmm. They have this lovely big grill mm -hmm. that stands out, that, that gives that ah, yeah. wants to go. Okay. Yeah. So is this, <laughs> what is the material? It's hard plastic, I would assume. This is just uh, <laughs> a, a, a hard uh, plastic yes. with some chrome around it and our new emblem. 
And your new logo right there yep. in the center. center. Yeah. All right, and I have to say, I like the sleek design because we don't really get that chunky, like too much of a difference between the bonnet and the car itself. Yes, and, yeah. and, and if you look at, 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 at the Nissan, we have looked mostly at our designs mm -hmm. because if you look at all our Nissans, even at the new Nissan Navara, mm -hmm. it's one of the best looking bucky that you can find. You look at the Nissan Magnite, mm -hmm. it's one of the best looking small yes. uh, uh, cars that you can find around. Mm -hmm. So we pay so much attention to our design. Mm -hmm. That's why you see the slick designs, the aerodynamics that comes across and you look at the uh, 16 inch I mean, 16 inch alloy wheels as well. And you look at this one here, mm -hmm. all our magnites, depending from the entry level, the Ascenta, Ascenta Plus, all of them comes mm -hmm. with alloy wheels. Oh, I yeah, see. Nothing let's move comes, to the wheels, nothing, actually. Let's, let's quickly, let's, 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 let's come this way. So, nothing comes without alloy wheels. So it's 16 inch alloy wheels, 16 standard inch, on all magnets. St standard on all magnets. And magnets. I noticed the wheels are two-tone. That is a very sleek design yes, aesthetic. Yes, yes. That is beautiful because we don't just get the boring plain old rims. These are actually really stylized fit for a princess like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so talk to us about the tires. The tires are, sorry, my humble apology. It is 16 years, mm -hmm. but the tires, as you said, that the rim is a two-tone, mm -hmm. the car itself is a two-tone. It's a two-tone because you find this one is one tone, mm -hmm. but most of them comes in two-tone. Mm -hmm. If you look at that blue one outside there, mm -hmm. it's exactly the same car as this one. That one is a two-tone, mm -hmm. white and black, a white and blue. So you get this white, complete white, this we call storm white, and then you get the off-white with black roof. I see. So those ones look even more sportier uh -huh. than this one here. So this is basically a crossover SUV. This is a, a small... It's compact. Yeah, small crossover SUV. It's compact. I yeah. like how compact it is, but then it yeah. still gives you that SUV. Feel. Yes, because it is uh, the ground... The, it, is a, it has a 205 mm -hmm. millimeter ground, ground, ground clearance. I see it also works with the proximity key. Oh, because yes. Because we do have that little the, button the, right the there. Inter, the intelligent... <laughs> The intelligent key. Exactly. Yes. So yes. how many meters from the car do we need to be for the proximity key to work? Probably just a few two, three meters mm -hmm. and, and it will work. All but right. mostly if I hold your hand, open it up. No? Press it. Ah, See? because, because I you have, have the key. The key. Yes. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. moving over to the back <laughs> of the car now. All right, now moving over to the back of the car. Again, we do have, it's nice and spacious and we have the Magnite written right there so no one can mistake it for oh, yes. what car it is. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> and of oh, course, yes. the Nissan badge right here. <laughs> so while we are here, we do need to open up the boot and see how much boot capacity we oh, have. Oh yes, you, but before I open up the boot, let me also put you into the right perspective. Yes. Because this Magnite comes in four different levels. Okay. You have, this is the turbo, mm -hmm. you have the turbo line, mm -hmm. and then you have the non-turbos. Okay. So, the non-turbos are mostly in your um, automatic and manual. Oh, I see. It yes. comes in both, all right. Yes, and nice. then the non-turbos only comes in manual. Mm -hmm. I see, all right. So, this one is one of the turbo ones. Mm -hmm. So, this is an Ascenta Plus turbo. So this is like top of the range. This basically. is the top of the range. Magna top of the range. Yes, Magna top of the range. And these are LED. Lighting. These are all okay. LEDs. It's awesome. All so LEDs it's full across. LED. Across full the LEDs. Car. Yeah. Awesome. Show us yeah. how to open up the bag. So you open up the bag like this. You have a 360, 336 liter tank, uh, liter um, boot, boot yes. that you have in here. Mm -hmm. So you also have a full spare wheel. Now right pay attention under to the this. Fourth wheel, uh, under the fourth floor, I mean, we e, do e, have e, a full spare wheel. You have a full spare wheel mm -hmm. because 90% of all these small SUVs or all these small ones, mm -hmm. they come with a, 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 the fifth wheel, we call it a biscuit. Very mm. thin, small one. I see, but, but this Nissan is a full size. have made sure that you have a full size. Lovely. So that you do not have to worry about when you Storage have a bunch of. Yeah. yeah. And you can see we have a, three, a 336 liter mm -hmm. 
liter liter um, um, uh, a liter boot mm -hmm. and then you can take that off if you have a lot of things to uh, in, to, to put in. in. I understand this is a 60-40 split as well, so we can yes. put down the seats and have yes. more storage space yes. at the back. Yes. Show us how to do that. There you <clears> go. <throat> you just pull it up there, and you go, and and there you go. Ooh, nice and simple. So you have... You have plenty of storage space. Plenty For a small car, this is actually quite spacious. Very much, yeah. All right. Because when it, when it was launched back in 2001, mm -hmm. We thought it was uh, very compact and very small, mm. but when it arrived here... And then you saw it in person, it was I'm, a whole different world. I'm a two meter. Tall man. And I sit in this lovely magnet of us, very comfortably. I will be the judge of that because <laughs> later on we will be talking everything interior. But oh, before yes. we close off the interior, I see right here we do have a rear view camera. Yes, you do have a rear view camera. Does this car have 360? You have 360? Yes, cameras. you do. Okay. Like I've said, this is a top Back, so you have one camera there mm -hmm. you have another camera here right and then the you have another camera here at our lovely grill I see so you have a 360 view and mind you in this segment this is you would find this the only one mm -hmm. that is that has a 360 view oh I yeah. see because most basically the others has just a rare a rear um, camera and then rear sensors. I see. That's all. But then this one has 360. 360. All plus right. your rear sensors as well. Rear parking sensors. We will get into that as we take the car out for a test drive. See how the cameras perform, the quality, all of that. But we will take a quick ad break and return with the interior of the Nissan. The roads may challenge us in many much. forms, many shapes. But they are truly made for one thing only. <laughs> Going forward with complete protection from shell advance. Take on all that lies ahead. inside the Nissan Magnite and from the minute I stepped into this car I have to say it fits like a glove it fits like it was made just for me and you're probably thinking oh but you're a passenger princess listen I can live out my best life pretending to be a driver <laughs> yes please. all right so starting us off I can see we do have a leather wrap full control steering wheel right here oh, oh yes and um yeah so walk us through the interior we have the infotainment system of course our climate control and a wireless charging pad mm -hmm. that is fantastic for a car that was released in 2021 yes we do have a wireless charging pad not a lot of cars that were released back then had wireless charging pads i mean now even some of the cars that are re re released they don't they tend to you know ignore that so i have to say that is quite great of course we do have our push to start button right here mm -hmm. but generally it is a very comfortable car of course our our controls right here but just to bring us back to the steering wheel what exactly can we control from the steering wheel you can control almost everything from your steering wheel you can control your or TFT there, mm -hmm. and then you can control your 8 inch infotainment, infotainment system, system that we have here. Mm -hmm. And then you have also uh, um, your um, um, cruise control mm -hmm. that is right there, mm -hmm. or it is also somewhere here. I see. And then you also have your uh, tire pressure monitor on this, oh. also that can also be controlled here. Okay. So this little thing has tire pressure monitor. Nice. Okay, I am going to start it yes. because I know that we do have a beautiful <coughs> gauge cluster right here where we can control. I mean, we can see our driving modes. We can see, of course, our speed, all of that. All of that, yeah. And yes. it, you can see that only if you start it, mm. it comes on. When it you comes, switch it off, it, it goes completely off. I love, love, love this. So yes. how do we then get to see our drive modes? There you go. Oh, I see. There's your fuel consumption. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it gives you. Mm -hmm. So what are the drive modes there's that we have? The, the tire pressure, of the, course. There's the tire pressure. You have 
Do we have four sports modes like every other? There you other? go. Sport. Mm -hmm. You have, so uh, you have sport. You have sport and ego. Sport and ego. Yeah. So it's just two and drive it, modes. Yes, okay. and it sits right there. Oh, yeah. I see. So basically, you have sport and ego, and then the normal drive that and we normally drive. drive. Yes. I see. Okay, yeah. cool. And then, of course, our infotainment system right here. We do have Apple CarPlay. You have e Apple CarPlay, yes. And Android. But then, before okay. we move on to the Apple CarPlay and the Android, mm -hmm. now this one has something very special that we call smartphone integration. Oh. Now, the smartphone integration on this one, mm -hmm. it basically integrates your phone your whole complete phone onto our eight inch infotainment system yes so i can control basically my your own phone from the infotainment from the yeah in into in, 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 in system. system yes i see and then of yes. course we have our camera you have your right 360 view yeah nice. yeah so that you see cool. your side because you sit on that side mm -hmm. you don't see it because you're already on that side yeah but my side because I because you are not see it but you can see where my hand is oh yeah that is so if you press cool. again it will give you that side and your back mm -hmm. and then if you press again you see it also gives you the orange car in front as well i see yeah. all right that's pretty so you cool. have a 360 view camera does this car have um lane keep assist no it does not have lane keep assist it does not have lane uh, lane keep assist it does not have lane uh, intervention it does not have uh, um, uh, um blind spot Okay, yes. but I mean, hey, we do have the cameras mm -hmm. and I like the climate controls. Yes, they are very sleek. They're oh, not the yes. usual chunky ones. These are very sleek and soft. They, they actually almost look high tech. I would oh, say. Oh, oh, yes, they are high tech uh -huh. in a sense of where you can have yours and I can have mine mm. on, on, on my on my side. And then the other thing is also the beautiful thing on the climate control is the back passengers. Mm -hmm also have their aircon uh -huh, yeah so it has the rear aircon so as well so they can well. control their aircon yes, from the back from the well. back yes speaking of the back we actually need to go back there see how much leg room i as yes. a very tall passenger princess have <laughs> <laughs> stick around <laughs> now we are in the back and i do have to say it's low it's not very like I don't know man i don't know i really like it i really like how i feel in this car i do have some knee room i have head room plenty of it and like i did mention earlier i am wearing heels so i am sitting quite comfortably and for my two meter tall <laughs> very passenger prince right here <laughs> very comfortable very comfortable yes all right now here at the back of course we do so have we have the headrest as well i mean sorry the armrest as well with your two glasses mm -hmm. you have your aircon right here and then you also have your charger right there for your phone volt? a 12 volt charger yes okay. so you are sitting very comfortably here and yes. please don't forget that a third person can also fit mm -hmm. on here yeah I if see. we close up the head the, the arm wrist then we have plenty, then of, space we have plenty of space here person. yes does this car have isofix yes it has isofix, it has yes. isofix. yeah speaking especially of, this this two mm, this two seats yes okay speaking of storage as well we do have yes. some here at the back maybe you can fit your tablet in oh there. yes you can fit your phone, phone whatever it is that you want to fit in there just don't leave your wallet in there no 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 no, no. and then of course we do have some cup holders on the side for the passengers because being a passenger princess i need to be fully you know comfortable I need to be pampered as we drive. So I have my armrest right here, a cup holder here, and a cup holder there. So one for my coffee, one for my water. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then you can also control your own window as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the lights right here. In the yes. Middle. Yes. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So Passenger Princess definitely approves in terms of um, leg room and space for the passengers at the back now we will take a quick ad break and when we return we take this car out for a test drive to see how well it performs on the road don't go in there five important facts about shell helix one shell was the first to develop the technology that produces oil from natural gas two oil made from natural gas is pure three especially formulated not to break down even under the most extreme temperature conditions. Four, it gives you improved fuel economy. And five, 
Shell Helix is the only motor oil used, trusted and recommended by Scuderia Ferrari. So now we are test driving the new, it's not new, but you know, it is new to me. It is we're new. test yeah, driving it is new. <laughs> the Nissan Magnite. We're taking it out on the road and we're going to see how it performs on the road as well as some of the safety features that we obviously can't test while the car is parked. So please, Mr. Manfred, take it away. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we are. We are in our lovely, beautiful Magnite. Now that we are inside, this car can give you uh, six liters per hundred mm -hmm. the automatic one gives you six liters of foil per hundred kilometers mm -hmm. that's on your CVT I which see, is okay. automatic mm -hmm. and then on your manual it gives you five liters per hundred as well so this is purely a very beautiful car mm -hmm. especially in towns mm -hmm. for you to pick up your school kids for you to go to your salon for mm -hmm. you to go to your barber or for you to go to the it's shop for errands because yeah it's, not it's really really good too much it doesn't fuel. consume and a I lot if we put it on echo we could actually get more out of more it. out of it yes yeah. you are very right yes. and then also uh, it has a vehicle dynamic control mm -hmm. that is it, it, it mostly just control the electronics it allows the the engine and the brakes to free flow and then you also have um, a, a tire pressure monitors I've said before and then you also have um, uh, um, um, what is that what is the other one you also have um, cruise control as well so it's not a thing where you are just going to uh, uh, keep hold of your keep hold of your feet on your on your gas all the time mm -hmm. you can put it on cruise control at any time mm -hmm. at any time you feel like and you can relax at any speed you want oh. it just doesn't have the adaptive cruise control mm -hmm. but it has the normal cruise control yes and yeah. i know it also has abs it has abs yes and then it also has EBS as well, um, electronic uh, brake distribution. That allows this lovely car to, whenever you're braking, it allows the, it allows the car to, br to send the brakes where the weight is. Mm. So if you have loaded up, mm -hmm. if the weight is too much on the back, when you press braking, when you're braking, a lot of weight a lot of braking system will start from behind yeah your phone would be easy yeah, yeah yeah so it's lovely because back in the days we used to know cars when you're braking it just breaks randomly just, yes exactly yeah. but now it is so well balanced with the vehicle mm -hmm. dynamic control that it throw the braking system to where the weight is mm -hmm. so I love that yeah yeah but I mean like I did say it is still pretty decent it's a great car for driving around in town it's great on fuel consumption mm -hmm. it's got plenty of space mm -hmm. because what are you loading up in a car like this right you just <laughs> you need to take care of your baby treat it as your baby it is oh, yes. a small crossover yes. um, SUV so I would say it still performs even driving I would assume it drives smooth while well, being the passenger princess I do have to say it is a smooth ride we don't really get to feel all the bumps and the and it the is hoops. quite sturdy on the road so even if a truck is to pass us by we won't really feel yeah, we that won't dirt. really feel that yeah awesome all no, right not at all it, it sits stable on the road mm -hmm. uh, it, it doesn't waver around the wind mm -hmm. if the trucks come across mm -hmm. so this one the, the the beautiful thing of it is just that the the the, the one that i love mostly is the 205 uh, ground clearance because it also allows me to do a little bit a little bit of gravel road uh -huh. yeah. so i can go from here to uh, uh, um, one of them uh -huh. and set up and have a nice and have yeah. a nice yeah. you don't have to worry about hitting your bumper nah, or anything nah, like nah, that nah. it's quite high on the ground so. and what's the maximum speed we can get here now the maximum speed is quite difficult for mm. me to say because as you can see the tft comes on only when you start it yeah 
so and we are only allow, allowed to drive 60 and 120 only so we yeah. haven't really opened it up Fully like opened it up yes. to all the possibilities <laughs> yes but uh, hey you can come buy the car and then you can see for yourself speaking of buying the car please talk to us about um how much this car is going for some of the warranty options you have available as well now uh this car goes for we have a very beautiful special that goes for 326 uh, 329 330 actually and uh the normal price is actually 361 okay but, but we are right but it's on special right now it goes for 330 and then when you buy it you've got a hundred and fifty thousand kilos or six years roadside assistance okay. you have a hundred and sixty thousand or six years warranty okay. and then you have thirty thousand three years ten kilo ten thousand kilo service interval service plan awesome yes but that is all the time we have for you today on my dot any cause don't go anywhere i will be back to give you a proper farewell fit for a Well, they do say all good things must come to an end. That is all the time I have with this beautiful Nissan Magnite. But I do hope you enjoyed today's episode of Mind.Any Cars. You can catch Mind.Any Cars every Thursday, DSTV Channel 285, Go TV Channel 25, as well as on all of Namibia Media Holdings Facebook pages. On that note from me, Diana Master, your favorite passenger princess. Until next time, it's ciao.